Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to turn any old PC, or virtually any old PC, into a nifty little Chromebook or Chrome PC so that you have a quick operating system if you just need it to navigate the web, maybe do email, that sort of thing. And for my purposes, the computer back here is the one I'm going to be working with. So, let's go. Okay, for this little tutorial, we're going to be using the website Neverware.com. When you go there, you'll be greeted by this screen, and you can do one of two things. You can either just scroll down, which I just recommend, or if you just click the Get Started for Free button, it will go ahead and shoot you down the page a little bit. And since you are an individual, most likely anyways, you can just click the Download um, Home Edition button. And for the vast majority of people, you will be using the 64-bit cloud ready. And from there, on the website, you may want to go ahead and click the installation guide. Now, on the installation guide, it's going to tell you that you need 20 minutes for the USB installer um, for the new computer. Um, that depends whether you have an SSD or a hard drive in the computer you're going to be using. Um, to create the USB installer, um, you need the... Chrome browser with a specific plugin, and you need an 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte USB stick. By the way, I will note that the 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte flash drive that you need, um, I used a 32 gigabyte vert or flash drive and it worked just fine. So your results may vary, but for me, if you have a 32 gigabyte, as they're probably a little bit more common these days because how cheap flash drives have gotten, then go ahead and try it. And worst case scenario is you have to go out and buy a five or $10 USB key or USB flash drive for this process. All right, so let's hop straight to how you actually install this thing. Okay, so once you have everything downloaded and you're going through the, the guide on the Neverware website, the first thing you're going to want to do is get minimize your web browser and then go to your zip file that you downloaded and extract it. And it doesn't really matter where you extract it, but I always just extract it straight on the desktop. And that takes, you know, a little bit to get done. So once your zip file is unpacked and you have your .bin, um, image on your desktop and that's set aside you can click the Chromebook recovery utility and you'll notice that for me it says launch app for you it'll say install if you don't have this already but all you gotta do is click launch app and it will launch right there now you'll notice that you can there's this get started button that's really tempting but you're gonna wanna hit this gear at the top and you're gonna use or click on use local image and this is where we go to our desktop or wherever you unpacked your zip file and you're going to click on that uh, image that you uh, had sitting on your desktop or wherever and click open. And then you just need to click the select media. And for me, it's my 32 gigabyte flash drive and click continue. And then you will just click create now. You'll get asked if it's OK by uh, by Windows and you just continue with life. And this will take a few minutes, depending on the speed of your computer, what type of flash drive, all that. Um, but we'll skip ahead for your sake to when it's done. Now that our installation media is done and ready, and by the way, when it gets done, it'll just say it's done and you can eject your media. So you can just go ahead and eject that flash drive and pop it into your new computer that you're rather your old computer that you are turning into a Chromebook. The one thing you'll want to do as you start up, and it's different for every computer or for different computer manufacturers, is as the computer starts up and runs through the BIOS, you need to hit a button that will bring up a boot menu. And it usually is something like F12, F9, delete key, something like that will, that will give you a boot menu. That you'll be able to select the USB flash drive that you just inserted as your boot device so you can go through the installation process. That's what I'm going to demonstrate now. Okay, so now we're in that boot menu that I was just talking about, and for my computer and yours may look different, but we're going to use the legacy boot because we just don't need UEFI or anything like that, and we're going to go down to the USB storage menu, or option rather, and just hit enter, and that's going to boot our computer off of the USB flash drive that we have inserted into any one of the USB ports on the computer, and you're presented with the cloud-ready um, start screen here 
And this does usually take a little bit of time to get to the actual installer because you're going off of USB speeds and not internal storage speeds. So just be patient. If you think it is hung or it's frozen or whatever, just be patient and usually that screen will just go forward after a few minutes. If after an extended period of time it's still frozen, then you may want to restart the computer and just try it again. Okay, so the next screen we are presented with is the um, cloud ready um, select language keyboard network and that is also that we uh, are connected to the internet. I'm just going to use the ethernet because that is what is plugged directly into the computer. However, if your computer has a wireless card, it does give you the option of using any wireless network that's available to your computer. And then you just click continue. Um, you can read through the agreement. I would encourage that in fact, but you can accept that and install and then you will be presented with your email address, login stuff for Google. Um, again, just put in the Gmail account that you use on a regular basis. Or if you um, need to create a new account, you can click more options and actually create a new account right from this screen as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in my email. Now, once you are logged into your email, you're presented with the screen where you can pick your, you know, your icon, your avatar for the computer. Um, and if you have one already on Google, you can just use that. I'm just going to use my Hoosier Hardware uh, logo there. And you can go ahead and take a tour around the interface. Um, it also does not have a wallpaper stock, but you can um, set a wallpaper later on. But before you do that, and because right now we're running off of that flash drive, what you need to do is click down there on the bottom right on your, your avatar or where the clock is, and you're going to click Install Cloud Ready. Okay, so this is where we're actually installing Cloud Ready over our, um, our other operating system. And you have a couple different options. You can either dual boot, you can just that would give you the option of using your old operating system and your Chrome OS, or if it's just an old computer like I'm assuming it is, you may want to just go ahead and install it as a standalone, which is what I'm going to do. And all that's going to do is wipe my hard drive, or in my case, a solid state drive, and it's going to put the Chrome OS on that. So just click Erase Hard Drive and Install Cloud Ready. Now what happens here is you will know the, the uh, computer is done and ready for use, and you can pull out the flash drive when it shuts down, because it will shut down when it is done installing the Chrome OS. So once you pulled out the flash drive, you went ahead and hit that power button because the computer restarted. It will boot up back into Chrome OS and it will look much the same as you did when you were booting from the flash drive. You'll be presented with the exact same screens where you will go ahead and click on continue. You'll click accept and install for Adobe Flash. If it does not install, don't worry because no one uses Adobe Flash. Again, you'll just click through everything much like the same. You will sign in to your um, email. And once you're signed in, you are good to go. Again, there's no wallpaper by default, but you can always add one by just right clicking, hitting set wallpaper. Um, you can click down below on the Chrome icon and you are given the web browser where you can start adding things to your computer however you want. Um, but you have a fully functioning, uh, essentially a web computer that also has significantly more storage than most Chrome operating systems do for things like storing local pictures, videos, movies, that sort of thing. You can always add to your Chromebook that way. So there you go. You now have a fully functional Chromebook from your old computer that was probably going to get thrown in the trash anyways, and it will get you or a close family member to just roam around the internet and have all kinds of fun. If you like this type of video and you want to see more of this type, give me a like down below. Also, that share button down below helps me out a lot. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, at Hoosier Hardware. I'm Shane. I'll see you in the next video.